All right, we're back doing a thing. Welcome back, everybody. So we only have, what, two things left in this world? Two, eight. Is it still ten per thing? Yeah, I think we got three we left. Have, we have eight. What? We have eight jiggies in total, but I think the one, of, one of them was the first one that we got. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think there's only a couple places left to check out, so let's go in here. Have we not gone in here yet? I don't think so. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, we, ha we 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 went in here as mumbo jumbo. Mhm. Mm I don't think I can cross this. Let's see what the sign says. You can't cross this. Whoa. Oh, there's actual Venus flytraps in there. Did you see that? Yeah. Fuck! He just rocked you. Well, give me my health back. All right. So. So I still don't know how to get in here. Yeah, like what are the. Uh, well, okay, so there are platforms there that you can get to the top. But I hear Mumbo Jumbo's sound, right? Is that a hint that we might need him at some point? No, I, I think that's just the music for this area. Oh. <laughs> Fucking nailed that one. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, ledges. We could do ledges. Is there any more of those things? Oh, and then the boots from the first game. All the pieces that fall into place. How do I put them away? I like that they don't do like this long animation every time you pick up one now. Yeah. Because I remember that being a pain in my ass. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so that's well. all that's in this world right now for us. What's in the what's there was a grate on the side of this, on the was left it? side, like on over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we can at least see what's in it. I, there's a rat. That is a fat rat. It looks like a mole. Oh. No, it's a rat. Okay, so it's trapped. I'm assuming we have to know like some kind of code to get in there. Mm -hmm. Shit. I don't think there's anything else that I can think of to do in here right now. In this world? Yeah. So let's go do a different one. Yeah, sure. Oh shit. You know what? What? I do know where another one is. Really? Yeah. Alright. Where is it? It's on top of the. Uh... What about the ginger? We can. Oh, you already grabbed it. Yeah. Immediately. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> like right after you got that move, I got so excited for that too. Obviously, we, we've we, been in here, right? Yeah. But we haven't been on top of it. You can get on top of it. Yeah. The fucking future. This guy. Wow, it's like right on top of it. Is this another thing that we need to sneak though? Yes. This is a fucking snake. You sneaky bitch. Me or the snake? Well, I guess you are the one who's sneaking right now, so... It was intended at the <laughs> snake, but in retrospect, you're the sneaky bitch. Fuck a bail! Oh, it doesn't care now that... I guess not. What's this? I don't remember ever going this way. Yeah, what the hell? That was a page. What's a page do? Uh, is that the Cheeto page, the Cheeto book. What? The oh, okay, yeah, the, it, it, like for you to punch in a sheet code. Mm -hmm. I don't think it, in any of my times I've ever played this game, I don't think I've ever actually tried any of the cheats out. I did some of the cheats in um, the first one. But it turns out all they do is uh, unlock thing like it, if, as far as like the rare collection goes. Mm -hmm. um, I would use the cheat codes in Banjo Kazooie, and they would just unlock things in Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. Whoa, really? Which is yeah. Is that what the like the secret egg things did? 
like the key and mm -hmm. the, yeah. Oh, thanks. What was that? <laughs> you can tiptoe by pressing. Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's leave this room. Okay. Can we just exit from here? No, that exits again. But yeah, I don't know what they did on the N64 ones. I don't think they ever did anything. Unless they, they were just like, there is a plan for... Mm -hmm. Rare, you fucking confident bastards. Thinking you guys are going to get a new game. I mean, they weren't wrong, but it wasn't... It took a long fucking time, though. Yeah. And then the new game that they built, it wasn't bad. It, it was just, bad. It just didn't feel like a Banjo-Kazooie game, is all. I think it would have been a fine game if it were any other two characters. Like a standalone kind of... Yeah. Yeah. That's a oh, game. so you unlock everything from here. Yeah. Shit. You blew it. <laughs> <laughs> the guy sounded so upset. Who is this guy? I don't know. Sounds like he's having a bad time. Yeah, is it is it Jiggy Wiggy? He oh. sounds decidedly different. <laughs> wow. You tried what to put it there? <laughs> Listen. Alright, they're kind of transparent, <laughs> I guess. Put an edge piece. Or Wait. putting a centerpiece on the edge. Thanks for covering. <coughs> Do you think he's old? It's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Can you determine the age of like a... Of a puzzle piece? <laughs> I would assume... Like, do you think you could rip off one of his ears and carbon date it? <laughs> Maybe. How the fuck do I get over here? That was not what I expected to happen, actually. <laughs> I expected that grate to lift with the rope. Yeah, it looked like it was attached. Yeah. Oh. You also have enough jiggies. Hell yeah! Jiggy wheeze. Jesus Christ, we're fucking ripping through this game. So we could just completely skip that level if we wanted. But, but then I feel like the next time we try to play this game, it would be harder. Because we, would, we need... This one we needed eight for, and we have ten. Yeah. Dude, you're so good at puzzles. I try. I think the it being twenty piece puzzles, <laughs> like the fact that it's moving makes it a lot easier. I think though. Yeah, it lets you know where on the puzzle piece that. Why would that ginger chase you? Are there bad Jinjos? Oh yeah, yeah, and this one there is. What are they called? I don't Jews? Remember. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> I don't remember what they're called. They got like a weird play on the name Jinjo. I think they're like, like Jongos or something. Jinjo Janjo? Whoa. Oh, I thought we were going into that carnival. That's my favorite level in the whole game. The carnival? Yeah. Dude, we're oh, going to the carnival! Shit. Well, now you better do damn good on this next level so that you can earn the carnival. <laughs> All right. We're not going straight there. Nothing is easy. I want to go to the carnival. You gotta fucking earn it. Okay. You do not have enough jiggies to attempt challenge for. Come back later when I want. <laughs> You'll never know. So we need 14. So... I think it's just the total amount that you've collected. It doesn't get rid of them, kind of. Like in the last game, it expelled your amount of jiggies that you had. Right. Every time you opened up a new puzzle. And I think. Whoa. What? I don't remember this. This is not anything that we've opened up recently. What the fuck? Whoa, I don't like you. Heggy? <laughs> I assume something egg related went wrong here. <laughs> So I gotta bring her eggs. <laughs> I guess I gotta bring her eggs. I don't remember. Alright, I'm glad that we shared this, Eggy. Haggy, <laughs> sorry. Well, that was fun. 
What kind of name is Peggy? Why wouldn't they call her Peggy? Peggy's a name. Well, I think it, like a hen and an egg. Oh, you're right. Is I'm it? the silly person. Wait, what? Hey, that look. That looks. Is this a? Is this a secret? I do not remember this. Because it was like half blending in yeah. with the background. Oh, this just leaves out here. It, uh, this is the Jinjo Village. Well, this is way less exciting than. Oh, we can go get the thing on the roof, though. Can we? Yeah. Because we can climb. Oh, you know what you need to do. What do I need to do? You need to finish your story that you started. Oh. <laughs> right. Bang, bang, bang. Four in the morning. I hear my door knocking. There's a woman outside about to get the shit kicked out of her by three guys. I jump outside. They all run off eventually. She calls the cops. Talks to the cops for a little bit. Longer than a little bit. Is it from window to window? Oh, no. You fucking did it. Um, Girl. She won't give them her name. Where she lives. Who was attacking her. She just is scared crying and telling them. Clearly high off her fucking rocker. And after she's done talking to the cops, um, she hands the phone back to me and I get online with dispatch and they ask me if it's okay if she stays in the apartment until the cops get there because they're not sure if the guys who were attacking her were still in the building. Jesus. And so I'm like, well, fucking fine, I guess. So she, this so just hung out with her high or? woman at five in the morning, comes into my apartment, and I can't go back to bed because I'm the only guy in the apartment, and yeah. I have to work in three hours now. And so I just sit up with her while she just sits. I get, I like, I get her a glass of water. I do all this kind of stuff, and um, fuck, I thought that went somewhere, but I guess that's cool. No, and uh, it, it, there's more for sure. Oh, I can use the ledge grab. To do what? To get to the next spot. Oh my god, you're right. Proceed. <laughs> um, so at one point, she goes out onto my balcony. I live on the third story. Mm -hmm. um, and she's outside looking for the cops. And I'm standing behind her just like being like, all right, well, what the fuck do I do? So finally I ask her because she's just staring out. I'm <laughs> so like, are, creepy. I'm like, are you all right? <coughs> and she turns around just wide-eyed staring at me. And she goes, was that you? Did you just ask me if I'm all right? Wow. I'm like, mm-hmm, only person <laughs> here. Like, only could have been me. And so... I give her the, another glass of water, and I sit down, and she starts trying to tell me about her night. Like, tell me, like, not just the bad stuff, but, like, the stuff before. Like, oh, I was out drinking with some friends, and we decided to come back here. We were just hanging out, watching TV. And, like, she didn't even get to the part where the guy started attacking her, and I had to stop her. I had to be like, <laughs> all right, listen, I'm tired. I'll give you another glass of water. Like, I'll stay up with you until the police gets here. I'll walk you to where the cops are when they show up. I don't care <laughs> about how your day went. I'm grumpy. <laughs> That's brutal, man. Yeah, and then the cops finally show up like an hour later. They were an hour late. And... So what... I wait, it's gotta be like... 6.15, like 6 6.30 in the morning. Nice. At this point. And I decide I'll walk her down to the front door where the cops are there. Because, again, I don't know if the guys who attacked her are still in the building or not. Mm-hmm. And so I walk her out to where the cops are. And when we're walking through my building towards the front door, she goes, you know, I don't know if I want the police involved in this. And I was like, why? She goes, I think there might be a few warrants out for my <laughs> arrest. Wow. The start of the conversation. You bring that shit up at the start of the conversation. That is amazing. <laughs> so I'm like, God damn it. And... I get out, the cop's there, they take her, uh, a couple of them take her off, and they question her, like, separate from me, and they, one of the guys pulls me aside, and he starts asking me a ton of questions, if I know her, basically they were trying to pry out of me that I did in fact know her, because I don't think they believed me. Like, they were all questions related to her, and I was yeah. like, I have nothing, I, I know <laughs> nothing about her, except for she's clearly stoned out of her fucking mind, and I don't like her right now, because I'm tired. That's fair. But I think at one point, they noticed that I found the female cop who was there very attractive. 
because the guy, the guy cop who's questioning me, uh, after about two minutes of questioning me, in the middle of one of his <laughs> sentences, he just stops his sentence, steps to the side, and then the lady cop stepped where he was standing and finished his sentence, and then did the <laughs> questioning from then on in. It was fucking seamless. That's hilarious. And then by the time they were done questioning me, it was like seven, and I had to work in an hour. And so I just went upstairs, showered, and drove to work. Super tired. And then the next night, <laughs> Uh, it was a co-worker's of mine birthday, so I went to the bar. I got home from the bar at about 2.30 or 3. Did you not get, like, any sleep in between this? No. Not a little bit. <laughs> and I get home at about 2.30 or 3, and I'm walking up to my front door, and there are three, like, 18 to 20-year-old kids. What? Standing outside my the front door of the apartment building. And I get out of my cab... And I start walking to my front door, and one of them, they, they're all like 6'3", kind of thing. And they all just Some step... big-ass kids. They were like skinny, skinny kids, but like tall. And uh, one of them walks right up to my face, and he goes, Hey, man, were you just talking shit about me? <laughs> and I was like, fucking when? I just got here. And he goes, I heard you were talking shit. Like you specifically, this guy I've never yeah. met. And I was like, from who? Who told you that I would have been talking about shit about you? A stranger. And then finally his third friend walks, or his second friend, the third one just stayed by the door for the thing. His other friend walks up and he goes, hey man, was this guy talking shit about you? <laughs> and at this point, I'm overtired because I haven't slept in like 36 hours. <laughs> and I hear him say this and I finally just, I'm like, you guys don't talk a lot, do you? Like words aren't your thing. <laughs> Because they just said the same th sentence to me three times in a row. And they just spent the rest of that uh, altercation trying to pick a fight with me outside of my apartment building. And so I was like, eventually, I'm so tired that I had just given up. And I was like, all right, guys, kick my ass <laughs> or move out of the way, please, because I want to go to bed. And they just moved. Oh. They just got out of my way, and I walked into my building, and as I opened the door to my building, and as it's closing, one of them was like, Hey man, you play Xbox? <laughs> and then he gave me his gamer tag. That's awesome. So did you add him? No, I didn't add him. I still have it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and the next day, I text oh. my landlord and told him that I was not renewing my lease. Fair enough. So at the end of this, uh, at the end of April... I'm hopefully going to have a new place. <laughs> nice. Do you have like a place kind of picked out? Or? You know, I've been looking online, but I haven't really found anywhere yet. Somewhere that I can continue to do this. Yeah. That'd be cool. Mm hmm. I might get a one bedroom place. Because. Really? It's that easy to get her out of there? Well, I'm like, I'm like, a, like a dynamite thing. She's kind of gross looking. No, but uh, yeah, I remember her, um, and I remember playing this game, and I remember specifically not figuring out that I had to be dynamite to break the cage open. And I'm really sad with myself <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there was another way to do it, but... No, like, is there is there another time you run into it? I don't want to say her. Yeah. Because it looks like a guy. And do they, does sh Shim do things <laughs> for you later? I think you... Like, do you have to give her collectibles? Well, you can... I think she shows up in another level after. Okay. Maybe that's it. But... I, I, I remember specifically not being able to figure out this bird. And if this is all it is... Dear Lord, it like... Because I don't... <laughs> I, know, I know I didn't beat this game. And if that's what stopped me from beating this game... Fuck. All the notes are five in this game. Hey. Yeah, it's weird. I haven't seen a single one note. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be going right now, but this looks like a good place to be. Yeah. I feel like this is Banjo and Kazooie. Oh. oh, I can blow up the rocks. But it hurt you. That's okay. Why did it hurt you? Because I'm a dynamite. Does every time you blow up hurt you? Mm-hmm. That's so an it's kind of like a risky... That's an interesting mechanic, actually. I remember not enjoying it Can you much. swim? I don't know. I'm gonna assume probably not. Oh. Yeah, uh, don't risk oh, it. Oh shit! Oh, you risked it. Oh, you can swim. Kind of. Nah, uh, not really. But you can jump out of the water. Wow. Physics. Can I blow up this rock? Oh, you absolutely can blow up this rock. This mumbo pad. 
No, 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 you can't. Shit. You just hurt yourself. Well. Next time we're gonna figure out what the fuck we need to do. Bye. Bye, guys. Sup, dick purple. <laughs> like, I'm not racist, but like, purple people, they should go fuck themselves. <laughs> Yeah, I feel bad because James used to be purple. <laughs> <laughs> James. Good luck, buddy.